Fiji were beaten yesterday by Wales. New Zealand unbeaten on day one. Yeah, the main destroyer was looking my lungy last weekend, but I've been interested to see what New Zealand's done, especially their coaching staff, Scott Roldrum, after the, after the last seven days. The same situation, that's what I'm excited about. So Fiji, with such huge support in the crowd here, they will kick off. Muntina Thangi, the man giving chase, but DJ Forbes has brought it down for New Zealand. New Zealand get an early penalty. Referee Damon Murphy of Australia. When New Zealand is just going to try and slow it down, slow the play down, go to the set piece. They won't want to go and rush. Last weekend, they actually created enough chances to win that semi-final. Weren't polished enough to get the job done in the end. I know that's what they've been talking about and speaking about last night. Well, the line out, just out from the 22. Yes, two or three times in the opening stages last week, New Zealand had the chance to score tries, but they just couldn't hang on to the ball. They have to make every chance count today against this brilliant, magical Fiji inside. Kuroi finds Scott Curry. And Mickelson now. First run for Stowers, moves it wide. And Regan Ware, what can he inject into the New Zealand side? Inside the 22 they go. Kuroi, Yopu Aso. Now Forbes, straightening, running hard, looking for the offload. Has to take it to ground, but New Zealand advance. Kuroi has a little look, has a little dummy. Tops it back on the inside, and Yopu Aso is over. The All Black 7 strike first. Well, they're playing with no fear at the start of this game, this New Zealand 7 team. DJ Forbes doing extremely well to straighten up that play. Yopu Aso was an inside hook. Good composure to realise the situation. He set it up, he didn't give the pass. And then this guy here, Bunamoni Kaloi with the late cut, goes through two defenders and Yopu Aso on the inside. Perfect start for the defending Sydney champions, New Zealand. Well, Kaloi just creating maybe a little bit of indecision in the defence, holding the ball out in front of him, prizing an opening, and Yopo Yopo Aso gets the first try. Now, can Koroi finish off his good work? He can. So New Zealand with the early lead, 7-0. to nil. I like the move, starting Regan Ware on the wing. Shawnee Morlea has started the majority of this tournament. He's a very quick winger. Regan Ware, probably a more physical type of winger. He won't go around players, but he has good feet. Well, it looks like Fiji have been given a yellow card here. Kalioni Nasoko. So Fiji down to six. They've got the ball. Rabobo has it. They're down on numbers. Doesn't necessarily blunt them. And now the breakaway. Well, they're so quick to turn defence into attack. Fiji, the infield pass. Oh, took it again. Magic. Two I turns it back. Here they come. Fiji. Colony Sal gets it away. Moth in a thumbie. broken play DJ Forbes asking for the touch judge he's caught the try they thought it was a knock on by Vidim Malua but it was play on for Fiji they reacted the quickest Jerry Tuai outstanding the main thing you do you always play to the whistle never assume anything in the game of rugby Fiji you see here here's the hit for Vidim Malua it was loose there's nothing wrong with that he goes down the sideline does Jerry Tuai, but look at his composure. Skip steps inside for Chill as it comes off Tim Mickelson's hand. Jerry Tuai stays alert and from there. Look, they always had the numbers on the far side, but they still had them ship the ball there. Kalinis out, timing of the pass is brilliant. And the finish as well had to be good. Keeps his balance. Fiji back in. So here's the kick. And from wide out, Colony Sal levels the scores. Spectacular start, typical Fiji, man down, no problem. Still trying to figure out what the yellow card was for, but anyway, what a time to score for Fiji. Here's the restart, and uh, Beramalua getting up after it, but it falls for Forbes. Uh, New Zealand look to cash in now on that one-man advantage. Stowers quickly moves it on Curry as he likes to do, ranging the fringes. Can pick it up and go again. Great strength, though. Penalty. 
taken quickly by Koroi. Tries to get things moving before the defence settles. Hey. Yopo Aso, referee playing advantage again. And oh, this could be another yellow, it is. Blood football, indiscipline. It's, it's the one weak link in this Fijian side. Well, they're going to get one player back and they get another one off, but they have to get, stay down to five, do they, until this tap kick is taken. Big moments in this quarter final. It's seven on five. Oh, no, it's not. Seven on six. Time for Nasoko to come back onto the field. Well, this is silly stuff because all the players know you cannot chuck the ball away. You just see that he kicks the ball. You can't do that. Got a shot at the back from Mickelson. Still can't do it. He knows what he was doing, Tony. So, Kuroi has it. Offload is loose. Stowers has to go back. Well, New Zealand will want to cash in on this opportunity. Moving the ball back towards halfway. Curry decides to take a couple, commit a couple in the tackle. New Zealand clear it. Mickelson, Kuroi. A step his way through. Nice hands from New Zealand. Yopo a bit of space here now. Goes up the middle. He had a man outside him. Pops it away to Mickelson. Regan Ware scores New Zealand second. They go to check it. The touchline might come into this. No, check the back leg. Check back leg. Happy the grounding though. Too easy. This might be a bully, bit of brilliant defensive Sorry, play me. from Fiji. They were stretched, but they scrambled well to make it a contest in against Tim Mickelson. Got the two on one. No, no problem. Valiant effort. And it was uh, Nasoko. I'm pretty sure his feet were up off the ground. Yeah, no, exactly right, Tony. Nothing wrong with this. Now, Sokol did extremely well. Went for the ball, just misses out and keeps his feet and does Regan wear. That is good body control by the number 10 for New Zealand. Second try. So New Zealand back in front. And Cordoy unable to convert from wide out. New Zealand, well... They had the opportunity with Fiji a man down, had to make it count. They had to make their chances count. That's what they didn't do last week. Yeah, and that's how they're playing, Tony. Playing with a lot more determination, backing themselves. That's the thing for me, but I think they still need another score before the half to really feel anywhere near comfortable. Fiji still just the six on the field. Forbes really had to time slip as he got to the band. Colony Sal who had the ball from the restart. Bit of Malua. Offloads to what has been brilliant in the early stages of this game. The little man really coming to play on the second day. And high scrag there from Curry. They might revisit that. But here's a chance now for Fiji. Bit of Malua. The one-hander and all oh, magical stuff. Brilliant. The soccer in for the try. Who needs seven? and fans go wild. And Fiji strike just before halftime. Jerry Tuwai again, the architect of this try. Nasoko nearly got it done in defence, but he gets it done in attack here. The kick off, Kalini Sal, taking it with two hands, no regard for his body, but they just bide their time. Vili Malua doing extremely well. Here he is here. Jerry too, I realise there's no inside defence. He's just so good at recognising that situation. But it's just one last pass, his last distribution. Right here. You see, he takes it in. Oh sorry, Vida Malua is the one that pops it over. Draws it one, two, three, four defenders for New Zealand. That is nice. Sublime effect. And the man from the Yasawas, those beautiful islands to the northwest of Fiji. He scores the try. Colony Sal with the conversion that gives Fiji the half-time lead of 14 to 12. The lead, 14 to 12. Kuroi stabs the kick long to start the second half. 
try and close Fiji down deep in their own half. But boy, it's easier said than done. Well, they forced the error. That's what they were looking for. Lock on here. One guy I haven't, we haven't mentioned as yet is Sherwin Stowers, but he's the one that made that hit along with Tim Mickelson and Scott Curry. Kalini Sal trying to set up a point for them to attack from. I think teams are now trying to get into those passing lanes once they do go into the contact area of the Fiji. So that's good work by Timmy Mickelson. Scott Curry, great attacking position for New Zealand. This is where Sherwin Stowers needs to stand up in the centre position. And New Zealand lined up away to the left. We've already had a couple of lead changes in this game. Kuroi, here is Stowers. They get it wide to Ware. Is he going to back himself? He chops back in field Ware. Good strength. Colony Sal going and hunting for it. Penalised. Rocket for Mickelson wants to take it quickly. Needs to get the ref out of the way. Mickelson. Stowers. Come here. Oh, look. Next time you're off. Well, again. Fiji, this time it's looked in my lingers. You warm the ruck by touching the other players. Can't be in contact. Okay. Look, they've got all the brilliance, Carl, but again, chipping the referee like that, yeah, not going to help. Smart play, though, by New Zealand. You see there, Clint Sal just questioning the decision at the ruck time. You can't do that. Put your team under pressure. And Fiji, they are their own worst Seven. enemy at the moment, Tony. You're right. The head's not in the game. They've got to worry about what they need to do. What, not what the ref is doing. It's been their downfall in this game so far. Still not over. They can score from anywhere. We've already seen that in the first seven minutes. Three points. Not going to be enough for anyone in this game. But New Zealand have the lead back. 17 to 14. Stowers. Good quick thinking. Mickelson just sensing. Just some aggravation in that Fiji side and pouncing. That's exactly right. He went quickly. You can see that they're on their heels. Again, they look to stab the restart. Back. Too wide. He'll try and open them up. And he has been lethal this weekend. Lutumailangi has been in amazing form. You must roll, you cannot get to your feet. New Zealand penalised. And now have to double back on defence and the crowd start to roar. As Fiji come forward, oh, that could be a high shot. That could be a red card, this. Stowers went high. He's in big trouble here. Yes, yeah, just what colour is it, Tony? Yellow or red? He jumped up, he that didn't use one. his arm, yep. that's two against him. And it was dangerous. He jumped up, made direct contact with Sorry. Jumped up, made direct contact. Mate, that's yellow colour. It's yellow. Look pretty bad. Time back on, please. So Sherwin Stowers, now this time it's in discipline that might cost New Zealand dearly. They have the lead, but for the next two minutes they have only six. And seven often is not enough against this VG inside. In for the try in the circle. them pay within seconds of being a man down New Zealand no inside help they shifted the ball quickly and again it come from Jerry Tuo but this is what put them under pressure the high shot Sherwin Stowers going up didn't actually make contact there but it was dangerous he went across the shoulders around the neck area look at the way they just take their time they give it to their playmaker Jerry Tuo on the edge boom takes out two defenders that is very tough to stop Uh, you can see why Stowers was Sinbin. He was high, there were no arms involved. And so he went to the bin and immediately New Zealand made to pay Fiji. Back in front, 21. If the kick goes over, it is 21 to 17. Once again, they celebrate. Great contest. Mickelson has it for New Zealand. So now the All Black Sevens have to find an answer. Forbes. 
just won't want any more damage done. While there's a man in the bin, Kuroi. Trying to step his way through, but tackled by Vidi Vidi. Jim Lee was never on side that guy. Who was that number three? Muffin the thuggy. Was never behind the ruck, almost foot. Very, very tough call. Just before that, frustration. Well, now it's New Zealand's turn to question the referee. New Zealand back up to seven, though, Tony. So the seven points have done the damage, Fiji. Now, can New Zealand hold out? They'll be tough. This Fiji and team we haven't mentioned. Lutu Mailangi for me. You've got to give him the ball here in this situation with space. Really only had it once in the game. Zealand tried to shove them off the ball, almost doing so. Fiji picked it up in an offside position. This time he's got them. I think it was a sharp, good effort by the New Zealand forwards, just putting the pressure on the Fiji scrum. And it's a great effort by that front three. Scott Curry, Dylan Collier. I, I can't see where there's, that's offside. I mean, that's a tough call for the Fijians. Kuroi. Puts it out just short of halfway. Jesus, well, a good contest though, Tony. Isn't it enthralling? Well, you just wonder, the next minute and a half, how important is it going to be in this whole tournament? HSBC Sydney Sevens tournament, which has produced so much drama already. Kuroi, Curry will go up for New Zealand, just drifting back, taking it down. Kuroi, Mickelson, Stowers, what can he do? Moves it on quickly. Molia is on for New Zealand. Looking to offload, it's loose, but uh, Mickelson's grabbed it, has he? Oh, New Zealand make the mistake. How crucial will that be? A 50-50 ball on the inside. They shifted it nicely. It was a one-on-one. Molia and Lutumailangi. Lutumailangi does extremely well on defence. And the 50-50 ball out the back door. Put a lot of pressure on New Zealand. Now they need another big scrap. Here it is here. Molia. Does the right thing initially, draws in two defenders, tries to give that miracle ball, probably needs to set it up there. And then a little right. knock on. Set. That's what New Zealand can do one time, this time. Fiji get this, it's all over, you'd have to think. Just been able to produce those moments of magic, despite making life difficult for themselves. It's not over yet though. Set. BG have it. Trickle Carney spreads it across the field. Lutumailangi, the kick ahead. Going back, Rocky Khan for New Zealand. Well, New Zealand are going to have to go end to end. Khan brings it out. Fiji have a man down on the far side. Mickelson moves across the field. He knows there's space there. Now the Fiji injured player has got up off the deck. But New Zealand have the ball. Chance to stretch them. Khan takes it to the line. Forbes out wide. Oh, they've been in these situations before, New Zealand. Curry with the fin. The offload. It's awkward. Mickelson's got it, but he slips. So New Zealand back on their 22. Picked up by Collier. Fiji being sure of their tackles. Time is up. Can they pull it out of the bag? Stowers. Lobs the pass away, Mulia stepping, crashing into the tackler. Khan has it, New Zealand have numbers. And Mickelson steps in field and breaks. He's got support in field. Curry, New Zealand, can they take it? Mickelson, oh, he had to fall. Had to take it down on his knees, but it's still there. New Zealand have them stretched. Collier sets up for the line. Brilliant defence right. from Nangusa. Advantage. If they're going right quickly, New Zealand's got it here, it's Tony. It's on. It's on. Oh, Molia goes back on his own. He scores. He backed himself. He went for the line, and New Zealand have won it.
Well, last weekend, Sione Morlia had a tough day at the office in the quarterfinal in the cup round. And what does it mean for him to get New Zealand over the line in this cup quarterfinal? Resilience, resolution by this New Zealand All Black Sevens team. What a game! With time up, they were back on their own line. Just the experience, and in the end, a bit of dare from the man who took them on. Solia Molia scores the try. And New Zealand have stolen it to death. Dramatic stuff here. Well, they worked it well. Tim Mickelson made the break. Scott Curry passes it back to Mickelson. He controls it well. Khan sets it up. And then Sherwin Stowers gives it to Molia with a man on the outside. Goes to one. Goes over in the second. Impact off the bench. Well done, Sione Molia. Well done, All Black Sevens. And so New Zealand, well, there's been some feisty moments in the game, but it all ends in handshakes and hugs. This great rivalry continuing. An absolute boiler of a, a quarterfinal, but New Zealand's through to play England. A 24-21 victory. A spectacular escape against Fiji.